I'm Jason Satterland. I am the writer and director of The Record Keeper, which is a feature film that just had its world premiere here at Raindance, which is a huge honor. Uh, Ra uh, the Record Keeper is the history of mankind told from the perspective of angels. It's a steampunk, sci-fi kind of a show, and it explores everything that you know about history, really specifically biblical history, um, but it tells the story in a fresh new way that you probably never thought about before. Uh, it's, it's a subject matter I've always been fascinated about, that being angels, because angels show up in every culture, in every religion, since before mankind was keeping records. They, there are these creatures that show up all over the place, and that fascinated me. Who are these things? What do they think about? What are their personalities like? Generally, in stories, they're not very well written. They're pretty flat, and so the record keeper is really exploring the emotional depth of who they are and what we do on Earth and how it affects them. Um, yeah, I thought it was a very interesting film. I'm particularly interested in angels as a theme, so um, uh, it was unusual to see a film so intensely from that perspective. Um, could you say something about um, about is the film you know like a Christian film that's you know specifically aimed at you know Christian people or is it a film that's aimed at everybody and um, what do you think about the thing of how you know how mainstream films interact with people who are quite religious? Yeah, well, it. it it's, it, I would say it is a Christian film is probably the best way to describe it, although it was not intended to play just to Christians. It was meant to be a story that everyone could enjoy. And really the big difference there is is that there's no sales pitch at the end of this film. It's not like someone stands up and says, have you ever considered taking Jesus into your heart? That's not, that's not in the film. This is just supposed to be a story about spirituality from the Christian perspective. It's Bible stories. It's Noah's Ark. It's uh, Adam and Eve, you know, these things. But how did that affect the angels? So, um, but we really just wanted it to be, to really pull your heartstrings and make you kind of want to go and read the Bible and just check it out. Um, and yeah, it's, to me, it, it affects me every time I watch it. I know that. It's uh, very moving to me when I, when I watch it. It's one of the greatest experiences of my life making this project. Um, and what kind of struggles did you go through in actually making this film? Well, there was a big struggle making it because this, this project was actually paid for by a church to, to do. And one, <laughs> when you have an organization that's creating something for everyone who's not them, you, it becomes this strange juxtaposition because once it was created, they didn't quite understand it because it's written in a language that they don't use. Be that being cinema, this was a very conservative church organization, so they actually tried to shut the project down, but, but by the time they made that decision, so many of the fans rose up because they loved the project so much, they started promoting it themselves, it started leaking online, it started to, to find a whole life of its own. It's been like one of the most interesting, phenomenal experiences I've ever seen. Facebook pages were created in support of this project that I had nothing to do with. It just They just came up out on their own. Um, it is, and you know, what's interesting is, is it feels like spiritual warfare. And here we are doing a story about angels. And so I can't help but think that's kind of ironic that, uh, that we're, that I'm going through all this. Well, you know, there is that saying, life mirrors art. <laughs> and, uh, you know, be careful what projects you choose. Yeah, right. I've certainly experienced that myself. Um, and so the people who are supporting this film, you know, just come out of the woodwork on their own. Are they religious people, spiritual people, Christian people, young people, old people? Do you have any idea who they are? Mostly Christian. Um, as far as age, it's all over the map. Um, and it's all over the map as far as the globe, too. Like in South America and Brazil, they're flying me down there just to go talk about the film and help me raise money to do another follow-up project. So um, there's a big following in Germany. I, I'm here in London because of the fan base. They flew me out here for Rain Dance. Um, it just, uh, it's, it's the kind, I think it's the kind of story that it can touch you no matter who you are. 
um, because it's a really a story about humanity and and the things that we do and how and the results of our decisions. Well, having seen it, I think what what I thought was interesting about it was it was very. Um, you know, it was very instructional in terms of actually telling you, you know, Bible stories in a different way. But it was also, you know, very young, very hip, very cool. You know, I can see how you, you don't normally get those two things together. You normally get orthodox religion mixed with things that young people might think are a bit boring, like you can't do this, you can't right. do that, you can't be interesting. Whereas what I liked in your film was you had, like you say, the whole ste steampunk thing. People looked extremely cool, they were dressed in a cool way, the sets were cool, and then you got this really full-on, you know, uh, religious stories but told in a very emotional way. So it made me think that, you know, there, there's a middle, that there, there, there um, not a middle ground, that's the wrong way to say it, but there, there are maybe people who want to be spoken to and want to see um, religion presented in a different way mm -hmm. and so maybe you know it's time and a need for filmmakers to do that yeah. and then you know let the audience decide I agree I agree it's uh, yeah we've had enough of, of preachers talking to cameras I mean who watches that kind of thing I mean religion aside like how often do you sit down and just watch a lecture nobody does that so I think making stories like this that move you, that, um, but to, you know, you have to tell the story right to, to be able to pull the heartstrings. I think it's really important. Uh, storytelling is important. Uh, that's why we mankind has been doing it since before. That's how we used to keep written records. There's a reason because we remember it. Um, it's it's a powerful medium that should be used. And uh, if you can get the job, it's the greatest job you could ever get. It's it's, it's amazing really amazing. Um, yeah, I totally agree. And the other thing, I've studied world religion a lot, and what I've found is that everybody taught through stories. <laughs> Buddha taught through stories, Jesus taught through stories, everybody taught through stories. Sometimes the same stories, almost. Sometimes really different stories. But, you know, um, it's a way to get through to people, and usually stories that were relevant to the time. You know, if it was a bunch of shepherds, it was stories that involved sheep. Nowadays, it would probably be stories about, you know, cars and televisions, because that's what we're involved in. But, um, well, I wish you all the best with the film. And Thank you. I, I, I really uh, uh, am excited to see how it finds its audience, and maybe it's the start of a new kind of, not a new genre, but a new, a new avenue. So, um, yeah. so well Thank done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and where can people go? Like, where's the websites, etc., etc.? Well, you know, since the client shut down the original website, you can find it. Really, the best place is through where my company, which is Big Puddle Films. Just go to YouTube at BigPuddleFilms.com. I mean, Big Puddle Films. You can find the trailer there. You can find some episodes there. You can also go to my personal website at JasonSatterland.com. That's S A T T E R L U N D. JasonSatterland.com. Fantastic. Thanks very much and good luck.